What is happening guys, I'm N64 Josh, and this is gonna be just a quick reaction video to E3. I am beyond excited. I feel like Nintendo absolutely knocked it out of the park. Am I sad about Animal Crossing? Of course, but it's not like there was any lack of games. I didn't even count. I, I couldn't even keep up when they got to the highlight section of all the games that they have coming out on top of everything they showed us. Unreal, absolutely unreal. Uh, Banjo and Smash, how cool was that? The way they trolled us and everything. I just, I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it, really cool stuff. Leaks Awakening looks amazing. The dungeon builder, like everybody was kind of asking for a, you know, a, a Zelda creator. And in a sense, we're gonna be getting that in that game. And I think it's a good thing because from my understanding, the game may be a little bit on the short side based on, on, on the previous, you know, uh, on the previous games, so um, Luigi's Mansion 3 has me really, really excited. Uh, seeing that Mario and the gang got, got, you know, snatched up by these ghosts and Luigi has to go take care of it, I think that's gonna be cool. Uh, I'm just gonna kinda go through my list here. I have I have a full breakdown of, of the direct on n64josh.com if you wanna check it out, but uh, um, we've got the Dragon Quest character that looks to have a really unique moveset, really kinda cool. Uh, uh, then we got Dragon Quest, um, coming to the Switch September 27th. The introduction, the introduction of Bowser was uh, quite funny. The fact that they had that CG Bowser come out and he had a tie on and was ready to, uh, ready to uh, take over. What, what, really good, I really enjoyed that. Um, like I said, Luigi's Mansion 3 looking really good. Eight player online co-op, uh, available 2019. They didn't have an exact uh, release date. Um, Gooigi looks like a cool, uh, um, kind of like a cool gameplay mechanic, being able to slip through certain fences and, and uh, not have to deal with spikes, but then he has to avoid water. So I think there's gonna be some good stuff there. Uh, the next thing I have here is the Dark Crystal game, um, which kind of had like Fire Emblem vibes to it, the way the, the gameplay was anyway. That's coming from Netflix. Um, of course, Link's Awakening, one of the best things I thought from that uh, was was seeing Link fishing, and then the smile on his face when he uh, when he caught that fish. Like I'm loving that art style. It's like a modern twist on the classic Zelda, and really, really, really liking it. Um, Trials of Mana. Like, look, if you're an RPG fan, this is this was your direct. Like, this was for you. Enjoy it. Um, Trials of Mana coming early 2020, and then the original three games out today on the eShop. So um, get ready to lose uh, lose many hours of your life. Uh, with those and then speaking of losing hours of your life which are three what like we knew it was rumored but I don't think anybody really thought it was real uh, I also have Geo here from uh, switch RPG what's going on buddy hey what's up everyone? Give, give us a quick uh, what did you think just oh, like he had mentioned this was for RPGs and you know me being with switch RPG this was insane you have the Witcher 3 like like Josh mentioned I don't have enough time in my life to play that again. Uh, Dragon Quest. September is going to be insane. Yeah. Like, everything was getting released in September. Um, yeah, uh, Astral Chain, the How to Train Your, train your Panzer Dragoon, like, everything. It was it was phenomenal. Yeah. Fire Emblem looks really, really cool. Yeah. Resident Evil, um, you have 5 and 6 coming out again. Yeah. And then, like you had mentioned, that you had that highlight breakdown. I was I was writing it. He, you were typing, Josh. Yeah. I couldn't even... Like, I have hand cramps still now, yes. and it's just, yeah. what a direct. Sony, I don't know what you guys are doing, you guys slept on it, maybe, you know, I don't know. But yeah, Nintendo hit it out of the park today, for sure. Yeah, just really, really good stuff. Just, I mean, the, the vibe in the room, just people cheering, people getting excited. Uh, it, it was it was crazy, and we didn't even have that many people in this in the media room that we're in right now. But th there was definitely some hype going on. It was it was it was awesome. I'm gonna continue down the list. We saw Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, really, the, the, just seeing more of the story has me very intrigued. The uh, it looks like it's gonna be very cutscene heavy and stuff like that. So if you're into it, it'll be that'll be for you for sure. Uh, like Gio mentioned, uh, Resident Evil 5 and 6. I know those aren't the, the, the favorites amongst the uh, um, Resident Evil fans, but uh, uh, to be able to go, Chris, 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 Sheva, Sheva, <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know if there's anything better in Resident Evil than that. Um, no More Heroes 3, which that was kind of a surprise, I believe. Uh, Contra Rogue uh, Core looks, I mean, it was probably the weakest showing, but right at the beginning, it did say this is not 
this is not actual, like this isn't the final version, right? So it, it must be pretty early and they just wanted to get something out, which I was kind of surprised because I'm sure we weren't the only ones that noticed it wasn't the, uh, the highest quality. Gio was shaking his head just a second ago too. So a um, little more Pokemon, uh, Sword and Shield, uh, Pokeball Plus, you can take your Pokemon out on the go, you know, out with you. You can't play with it because there's not enough buttons, of course, but um, looks like you can level them up and things like that. Astral Chain, every time they show that game, I get more and more excited about it. The, the gameplay mechanics that they, I, I feel like this was the first time we really saw gameplay and uh, it looks very, it looks unique. It looks very interesting. Can't wait to check it out. Um, Empire of Sin was like the mobster, like, like, I had like Dick Tracy vibes, you LA know. Noir tactics, like. LA Noir Tactics is what Gio says. So, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 looks to be, uh, it, it looks to have improved on everything of the other games. I mean, of course, we gotta wait to get hands on, but the, the animation looks better, the gameplay looks better, the, the, the moves of the characters, everything, it just, it, I just wanna get in and play. I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready to run around with Wolverine and slice stuff up, you know. Uh, uh, Cadence of Hyrule, you know, I've, I didn't know I needed a Zelda rhythm game, but I'm, I'm excited. Did that, I can't remember, did that one say out today? Two days from now. It's out in two Thir days 13th. from now. On the 13th, okay, so get ready. Get ready for that. We also had uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, which I was typing and I just missed it. Gio, you might have caught it. Did they show like 8-bit or 16-bit gameplay? I was typing too. <laughs> okay, it looked to me like they showed like 18 or 16-bit gameplay, like classic like track and field stuff, which I mean, I'm all about it. Watching Mario do gymnastics was, was interesting. Seeing just all the characters together, cool. I'm, I'm on board, I'll check it out. Uh, my heart, Animal Crossing, March 2020. Deserted Island. So it looks like we might, you know, I was kind of hoping for more end game, and it's kind of looking like there's gonna be a ton to do at the beginning, just kind of maybe building your house and things like that. It's kind of kind of what it showed. So um, I'm definitely gonna go through that part of the uh, direct with a fine tooth comb. I'll have videos up, of course. Uh, but March 2020, what, was, what I found interesting at the very end is it showed so many characters uh, together, which it seemed to hint at a lot of like, maybe multi online multiplayer things like that because there was a there was a but it could just be it could it I could just be reading into it so I'm not gonna um, we don't know we don't know much they'll, they'll probably be a direct for it I'm guessing in like November would be my guess November or possibly January so we'll see we'll get more info then but there is gonna be more info at Treehouse Live so make sure to tune in for that uh, as far as highlights, we had Spyro, Hollow Knight, Nino Kuni, Minecraft Dungeons, Blades, uh, My Friend Pedro, Doom Eternal, uh, The Sinking City, Wolfenstein Youngblood, Alien Isolation. That came out of nowhere. That's a pretty creepy game. I'm really excited to have it on the Switch, and, and uh, I've had it on Xbox, never played it. I'm excited to check it out finally. Uh, I believe I saw Final Fantasy Tactics. Was Crystal Chronicles. Crystal Chronicles, is that what it was? Okay, I was like... Again, trying to type and I couldn't really keep up with it. Uh, a game called Bonus XP, no clue. Just Dance, of course, also coming to the Wii. <laughs> uh, Catan, uh, Super Lucky's Tale, Dauntless, and Mario Maker 2. I missed one, I missed a couple from that, uh, uh, from that list. And then the, the, the best troll of all was Banjo in Smash, and they trolled us with Duck Hunt, right? Like, watching uh you kind of knew it was gonna be banjo right everybody kind of assumed especially since the way they trolled us with king k rule i thought it was i thought it was done very well uh but as soon as that that puzzle piece or whatever went by and then they showed duck hunt that or they show it looked like banjo and then switched to duck hunt really really good stuff um i think it said they're raring to go which i thought was i thought it was great just to get the little uh get the little, uh, you know, little rare love in there. Um, and, and he's coming out fall 2019. And then the craziest thing that I don't think anybody really saw coming, although we knew they were, we knew it was in development, we knew they were looking for dungeon designers, right? That's what was reported on. Um, the new Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 in development and the entire teaser took place in a dungeon, which, uh, yes please, that was probably the, the thing I thought was missing the most from Breath of the Wild was dungeons and we're definitely gonna be in dungeons, and it looked really creepy. That that skeleton, that that skull coming to life, that skeleton coming to life. 
it looked good. I'm excited. Hopefully Link talks. I've had a few people tweet at me saying hopefully Link talks and doesn't just have to listen to Zelda complain. Who knows? Uh, guys, this has just been a quick, quick vlog. I do apologize for the quality, everything like that. Um, I'm going to be doing, there's going to be many, many more videos. I have lots of meetings I got to get to today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the direct down below and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.